Hi, I'm Ken Bianco, and welcome to Train World TV. We're at the York TCA train show, and we got Jack Lynch from Bachman Williams Trains. Thank you so much, Jack, for Hi, stopping by. I appreciate it. Always a pleasure. And I guess since we're in York, let's talk about O Scale Trains. What does okay. Williams have for us today? Okay, we have a really great new announcement this year. And I'll kind of do a little prequel to it by um, showing you a little teeny tiny train that we did in the past. Um, we were trying to figure out a nice new O-Scale piece to do, a new engine. And unfortunately in O-Scale, just about every interesting engine that ever was has been done. Right. Well, we came up with something that hasn't that we think is interesting. Um, okay. Years ago we did a nice little end scale GE 70 ton switcher. You can see it's a little teeny tiny guy. Then we translated that engineering up to HO scale. Okay. GE 70 ton switcher. So da, 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 this year we're going to do, and I'm going to hold up this little sign here, a Williams by Bachman O scale 70 ton switcher, a GE wow. 70 okay. ton switcher. Oh, this is going to be a really exciting product. This is going to be a great product. Um, oh. We're going to do four road names to start. We're going to do Southern Pacific, we're going to do Canadian National. This one I really like is a Tropicana version, which goes really great with all the Tropicana reefer cars and right, the right, refrigerated right. cars out there, and a Rutland engine. Very cool. So those will be the first four. It'll be very similar to all our other new Williams by Bachman engines. It'll have you know high-end detailing. It'll have the True Blast Plus sound in it, which is a digital polyphonic sound. Um, conventional operation like all Williams, which okay, is the hallmark great. of Williams trains. Oh. Plus, if you if anybody picked up the 44-ton switcher, which was yeah, a very that was popular a model, model, for sure. That's that's what I think this will be. I think this that's is great. a new engine that no one's done in the past, other right. than maybe a brass model. Oh wow! At one okay. point, so. So this so will be brand great. new tooling um, at York, just a new announcement, and I think the Tropicana is going to be a home run. Yeah, yeah that's amazing. Too. Very cool. Too. Very cool. So that's great. Yeah, and that. uh, you also, it looks like yeah, you got a demo. Over yeah, there? we have we have a pre-production sample of the F59 PH that's coming out soon. As you can Very see, cool. we've got the samples, the shots. They're painting them right now. That was announced at the last York show. Um, three different Ooh, paint schemes there, which are Amtrak paint schemes, which is the standard Amtrak, the uh, Amtrak California, and the Cascades engine. Wow. So this piece is really nice. It's got a lot of nice photo etch detailing on it. Same deal, it'll have the True Blast Plus sound in it, digital That's polyphonic great. sound. Um, and these should be here very soon. Wow, wow, very nice. And I'm sure a lot of the O-Scale guys are gonna go crazy over this 70-ton uh, uh, switcher here, and new tooling on that. And let's go uh, half the size of O, half, HO. Yeah, so let's do half of O. What, what are we announcing today? Okay, we've announced um, new versions of some engines that we've done in the past. Okay. What we've done is we've upgunned the engines, we've gone in and checked the gear trains and the motors and, and made them a little bit better. Right. Plus we've installed um, soundtracks, DCC sound value sound parts in them. So you know the sound's going to be really good. Right. It's going to be 16-bit, polyphonic. Um, right. It will have our sound value feature package in it, which makes them more economical for the modeler. In other words, instead of a separate DCC decoder, we build the sound chip and the decoder right into the circuit board. Right. It saves you a little bit of money, gives us a better way to produce it. So Jack, why is the Class J so popular right now? It's always been a popular engine, but this engine in particular has just been restored to running condition wow. by the Norfolk Southern. Okay. And it's actually out on the rails. So so the reason, real reason why it's so popular is you, you could actually see it. It's there. You can so. ride behind it. You can go buy a ticket and get on a car and ride with it. Right. Which is right. great. And that gets people all excited and they want to have a replica in their house, a souvenir of what they did. Right. So right. this is a, a beautiful piece. We've upgunned the motor in it, made it really, really run nice, smooth. Um, and like I say, sound value package in it, DCC sound, it's great, it's a great piece. Wow, that's great. And that's we're great. also doing, at the same time, we decided to redo, well not redo, but install a sound value package in our GS4 locomotives. And the GS4 is another rail fan type locomotive. Right, and right. And the 44, uh, oh, wow. 4449 is uh, actually on the rails now, which is the Southern Pacific Very daylight cool. scheme. 
And we also did a version of the American Freedom Train, which was a train, really? same engine that was painted red, white, and blue for the bicentennial and toured the country. Wow. So wow. we did those, um, put the sound value packages in them. Great Very pieces, nice. never did it before in a GS4 with sound. And so you got some passenger right. cars to match it. And we just, we have brand new tooling in smooth side passenger cars. Wow. These are beautiful cars, LED lighting. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, metal wheels, an all wheel pickup. Very cool. Um, a really beautiful paint scheme that matches the engine. Yep. And we're doing about six different paint schemes in these uh, Pennsylvania, nice. Southern Pacific, New York Central, various wow. other road names. Okay. But beautiful cars. Yep, yep. Very pretty. Nice engines. And um, I guess let's go a little smaller. Okay. And uh, let's go to, to Thomas. Okay. So I, a lot of people have been talking about HON3, and uh, they run on N scale track. Thomas, and uh, this is Reneus, and also a new little, I guess, a, a that's freight car. A, yeah, that's called a slate wagon. It slate carries wagon. slate very, tiles. Oh, very and Just cool. to give a little perspective on what this is, these both these pieces here are HO scale. They're both, okay. you know, 176 to 187 scale in there. Right. But this engine is standard gauge, which means it runs on a standard size track width. Whereas this engine is narrow gauge. Okay. So in actuality, a narrow gauge engine, same scale, but it runs on narrower track. Right, right. So instead of using HO track, you would use N scale track for that one. Okay, all right. And that's the big difference. And right. um, in the Thomas stories, there's a whole series of engines that run on the narrow gauge lines. They're right, like, right, right, right. Logging engines, mining engines. Okay. And we did Scarlowy last year, and this year we're doing Reneas. Wow. So that is a, a complementary type series of engines to go with the HO engines. Right, right, very nice, very nice. And uh, Scarloe, Reneas, uh, huge sellers, really popular. And um, just Thomas is still, it, the demand is crazy. And, Kids um, love Thomas, he's, yeah. the, he's probably the, the greatest ambassador for hobby. <laughs> um, and just by the way, this is a new HO engine. This oh, is Oliver. Oliver. This yeah, is yeah. Oliver, he's brand new. He just came in, so very Train cool. World, I'm sure, has plenty yeah, of Oliver yeah. on stock too. The, the oh, amount of pre-orders on these were crazy, and the demand is a lot. And for N-Scale, or HON3, um, uh, Narragage, uh, I wouldn't have thought that Thomas would be that popular, that small. We, so, we took a chance. Yeah, we weren't yeah. sure either, but they eat it up. Yeah, they eat yes. it up by the spoonful. Yeah, great product, great show. Yeah, it's one of the few things that I didn't mind my kids watching as they grew up. Good, good stories, no violence, no yep. bad language. Just great stories. That's great. And um, let's kick it up a notch all the way to G scale. And uh, you got some new egg liners, and I haven't seen this paint scheme before, but this is going to be really popular. The I guess uh, it's American. The, it's the Fourth of July uh, part. Oh, Fourth of July. Actually, part. what we're doing with the egg liners is we decided to do holiday versions of them. Right. So you have the Fourth of July car. We're doing an Easter car, which looks like a big Easter egg with right. pastel colors. A Halloween car, which has a big jack o' lantern painted on it. Right. Right. A Christmas car, and we figure people are going to want to run them on holidays, and this you could run all year long. So yeah, that, this, that was the idea behind the paint schemes. This is neat. I wouldn't even call it Fourth of July. I would just say the Liberty Train. Uh, Make America great again, I guess. Uh, exactly. Just a, a U.S. train, just really nice, cool, unique, motorized. Yeah, what's neat is these are little motorized units. They run yep. on their own. They're they're really powerful little motor blocks. And something interesting about this motor block for anybody out there that runs their old Aristo trains, these were former Aristo pieces. Okay. Um, that we brought back because they were popular. These motor blocks were used in some of their engines, like their RS3s, I believe, in the FA units. Well, we're going to sell these motor blocks separate. Okay, so that great. if someone has an old engine and the motor block's shot, right, they right. can buy a new motor block and get their engine running again. Well, that's great to yeah. hear, Jock. And again, you could get all your Bachman product, Williams product, at trainwell.com. Shop online 24 7. They just announced and the, we forgot something. The new catalog. We forgot the most oh, important piece. Oh, it's oh. on the front. The ACS 64. Okay, scrap that. Let's go back. So the ACS 64 um, uh, electric locomotive. We have been taking huge amount of pre orders on this. Just we, uh, unbelievable engine. We debated and debated doing this only because it's one road name, it's Amtrak. Right. And when you're in the model railroad world, you kind of want to do multiple road names so you can sell a lot. But 
this engine is so popular that we decided it would be a good thing to do. It's almost like a GG1. There's at least four or five different Amtrak paint schemes we can put on it. So what kind of paint schemes are you announcing on the ACS 64? Well, they're obviously all Amtrak paint schemes, but we're doing um, three or four different schemes, and we're doing the demo or the prototype engine, we're doing the road engine that's running now, we're doing a veteran scheme. Wow. Um, but yeah, great, great engine. We're working and with this Siemens. This is new mold. Amtrak. Yeah, absolutely. New mold, new tooling. Uh, this is going to be one of the hottest trains in HO because no one's really done it before. Um, the the uh, salute to the veterans is going to be very popular. Uh, they're going to have the Amtrak with the American flag, so a lot of cool stuff. It'll run great with all your Amfleet cars. We, we already make Amfleet cars. I watch them go up and down the Northeast corridor every day when I go to work. Yeah. Um, it, it's just a really beautiful engine. We're looking and, forward to it. And do you think they'll be uh, later this year or early next yeah, year? Yeah, yeah. We've probably we're. It's a slower development time because all the drawing work has to be approved by Amtrak Siemens right, and then come right. back to us and we do little tweaks. We're just about done the drawing work. Okay. Which great. means probably into tooling in a month or so to oh, wow. we're hoping by the fourth quarter this thing should be out. Oh that's great um, to hear. And it will also have a sound value package in it. We wow. have DCC okay. sound value. By soundtracks? Yep. It'll be a great piece. We're Very really nice. looking forward to it. And uh, let's also touch up on some O and thirty. And uh, a lot of people are getting some killer deals on Bachman Owen 30 through us. So thank you for your support on that, and thank you for giving it a try. But um, Bachman Owen 30 cabooses, um, they just announced. So what's special about this caboose? Yeah. yeah. These, um, we did, the last set of freight cars we did in Owen 30 were 18 foot cars. And they're little shorty cars. In right. other words, your standard freight car is you know 20 to 40 feet long. Well, there's a very limited amount of prototype you can do in ON30. There weren't that many trains and cars and that available. So we decided to do the short cars, the 18 foot cars. They were really popular. They sold really well. The only thing we didn't do that people kept hammering us about was a caboose to go behind them all. Right. So we decided to do an 18 foot caboose. Okay. So we did two different versions. We did a standard caboose with a cupola and we did a logging caboose that has no cupola on top. Very cool. We did six different um, paint schemes on them, different MOW paint schemes. There is a white pass scheme. There's a Look gray. at the detail. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful cars, very well detailed, um, and they'll complete your 18 foot set of trains. Wow, yeah. very cool, very cool. Well, Jack, thank you so much for having us here today. Um, you could get all your Bachman Williams product at trainworld.com. Make sure you shop online. Uh, you could do 24 7, taking pre orders on some of your newer engines that are coming out. Um, we also have the Bachman catalog up online on our website. And uh, if you want a copy, give us a call. And uh, thank you so much, Jack, for showing us some new product today. My Appreciate pleasure. It. And I'd like to say, make sure you like us both on Facebook. You so got we can it. Share all this information with everyone. Without a doubt. All Sounds right. good. Thank, thank you. you, guys.